Welcome to TheoTrade. This is Don Kaufman. Let's talk about trading SPX options. So I wanted to do a video just in, in general talking about, you know, different products. And when I kept thinking about it, I kept thinking to myself, you know, it's the SPX that I really want to cover first and foremost. So here we go. What's to know about the SPX? I mean, a lot of people are drawn to the SPX, it, it really is like if you think about the SPX in a grand scale, it's really, you know, the, the mother of all index products out there. It's, it's where kind of the world goes to offload risk. And when it comes to options, you just got to think of the SPX. It is the granddaddy of all the products. So how many nicknames do we have for the SPX? Apparently a lot. What is there to know? about the SPX though as a product. I mean the first thing that that I'll point out, yeah, it's a $2,000 product. Though that may not last long. You know, by the time you watch this it could be an $1,800 product, it could be a $2,200 product. Nevertheless, let's all agree it's a big product. Now, you know I kind of call the SPX a product. Okay? I, I don't care what product you trade. You know, I'm an equal opportunity trader. I'll trade stocks, options, futures, but you got to know one of the reasons I call it a product is this is not a stock. There's, there's, you know, nothing to trade here. There might be a bid and an offer, but as you click on them, the instrument itself is not tradable. So this thing is nothing more than what an options product. Okay. As I go and I'm going to open up options initially, a lot of people, they open up like the January's there's 24 days left till expiration on these Jans. That's neither here nor there. What I am doing, though, is I'm opening up the monthly expiration. So I open up the monthly expiration and I look at volume and open interest. You can notice that there's some pretty extraordinary amounts of open interest on a number of strikes here. If you do take a look at the puts, you'll see like 119,000 contracts. And you can open up just a ton of strikes. So here, I'm going to open up 140 strikes. You can look at stuff way, way out of the money on here. The 1700s, 33,000 of those things open. Okay. Just realize, yes, there is huge open interest. And yes, lots of institutional traders, they use the SPX to mitigate their risks. That might be mitigating the risks to the 1900 level. That may mean they may go out there and buy just a ton of puts at the 1900 level and attempt to finance those puts by selling calls out of the money. Okay. And that's, it's a very commonplace thing to use the SPX as, you know, a hedging type of a vehicle. But for us, we're kind of retail traders and like, what are we going to use it for? Well, we're going to use the SPX probably to sell way out of the money iron condors. And all I'm going to try to do is, <clears throat> is really go into this and and say like what are some of the best options to use okay should i use the the monthlies should i use the weeklies and and really just a couple of ins and outs and risks that you should be aware of in the SPX and the first one that i want to mention is that uh i personally use the weeklies in the SPX i i actually don't trade the monthlies okay and it's not that i haven't ever traded the monthlies currently i don't trade the monthlies and i'm going to show you why i don't trade those monthlies look at the bid offer spreads in here they're pretty formidable i mean so we're on a slower day um you know recording this during like you know the week of like christmas a little bit of a slower day over there although there's still some volume getting done but look at the bid offer spreads over here it's almost two bucks i mean most of the options are trading a dollar 20 wide but then bear with me for a second we look at the exact same product. We go to three-day options. And the three-day options, which should have substantially more directional risk, right? Their gamma is higher. Their delta is whipping around. And yet, they're 30 and 40 and 50 cent wide markets. Okay? And you sit there and you go, huh. To me, these weeklies are substantially more, quote, unquote, retail friendly. Okay? That means you, me. And if you look 
at the monthlies. The monthlies, you're like, why are the markets so wide? Because that's where the big institutions go to hedge. A lot that's done in the monthly side of things in the SPX, those are pit-traded contracts. When I say pit-traded, yes, there is still an SPX pit. Yes, there are men and women standing on a trading floor screaming at the top of their lungs, and it's about to be 2016. It's totally archaic. You know, I left that world 16 years ago. (laughs) 16 years ago! Okay, and yet there's still people on a trading floor. Nevertheless, even if you go really kind of far out, I mean, the cool thing about the SPX is there's weeklies for, you know, not just three days. There's weeklies all the way out. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm thinking 130 days. That's one hell of a long week. I mean, that's 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 a long week, 130 day weekly. But the SPX, it, it you know, it's a Chicago board options exchange product only. It's a proprietary product, but they've been the pioneers on these weeklies. And this is the pilot program and was the pilot program for weeklies, but now it's a pilot program for longer dated weeklies. And you can even see quarterlies all the way out. So even if I take the 130 day weeklies, okay, and just open up a couple of strikes, even the bid offer spreads in here, okay, just just to prove a point. They're like, oh, a dollar wide. That's a dollar wide bid offer spread. Okay. Right in this neighborhood, it's still, you know, it's like right around a dollar wide. So you look at the 115 day options. These things are what? Buck 50 wide. It's much wider markets in the monthlies. Okay. So just wanted to, to point that out. Now you're like, okay, so Don, where are you going with this conversation over here? The next thing you need to know about the SPX is that A lot of people are drawn to the SPX, okay, because it's a cash settlement product. What does a cash settlement product mean? It means you can't get put in stock. So if you sold, okay, deep, deep, deep in the money puts, nobody can put you anything. They can't be like, I got you, you bastard, you got some Apple stock now. Well, they can't do that because there is no. Apple stock over there, you know, oh, I got put early. So, so many people are like drawn, again, moth to the flame to the SPX because it's considered what they term a European style option. And European style option means there is no early exercise or assignment. The only time the option can be quote unquote, again, exercise or assigned is at expiration. Okay. Now, you're thinking that's like a wonderful thing, and it can be because it's, again, no threat of an early exercise or assignment, but that's actually priced into, because there's not that threat of an early exercise or assignment, that is actually priced into the implied volatility. Implied volatility in the SPX will differ very slightly from something like the spiders. Uh, Why? Because the spider product itself, all right, does have that that risk of being put stock, for example, early. Last but not least, the uh, the SPX over here, and you have to check with your certified tax uh, professional, but the SPX, being it's Chicago, does often qualify you for different tax treatment. Check it out sometime. It's rule, okay, 1256, it's the 6040 rule. It's one of the reasons that uh, some people do trade the SPX, but don't let the early exercise or assignment or the tax consequences influence your trading of this particular product because in the end it's still a really really monumental sized product it's a two thousand dollar product you trade like one of these contracts okay it's serious all right even like a one lot it's serious like there's a lot of capital at risk you want to think about how to mitigate your risk in here you spread something like that okay finally Okay. Outside of uh, of risks in here, let's look at one other factor that most people are not aware of. The SPX monthlies use a different settlement style than do the weeklies. Now this pertains exclusively, okay, to the SPX. The weeklies have a different settlement time than do the monthlies. So we'll start with the monthlies. The monthlies, okay, the last day you could trade them. The last day you can trade the monthlies would be the Thursday of expiration. And they don't expire on Thursday. They expire on Friday morning at the opening settlement. Now, an opening settlement is not the opening price. It is not the opening price. It's actually a settlement price. The settlement price can differ drastically from the open of a given day. You're like, how could that be? 
Well, it is what it is. Be aware of it. So recognize, even though the last day you can trade it is Thursday, they go off of the opening settlement on Friday, which means you got to close the position because otherwise you're going to leave yourself with extraordinary risk. Now, the weeklies, another reason I, I talk about the weeklies, and again, if there's something I'm going to persuade you to do, it's, hey, consider the weeklies over the monthlies because the weeklies, they expire okay, on Friday and they use a PM settlement. And you have to be careful, though, what PM settlement means and the SPX, the SPX product itself and the options are opened till 315 central time. But during, OK, during the settlement, they will settle at 3 p.m. So, for instance, OK, there's three days left. All right. At the end of the three days, this option here will go into settlement at 3 p.m., 3 p.m. Central Time, not the normal 3.15. So it stops and ceases to exist at 3 p.m. when the rest of the product goes on to trade till 3.15. Keep that in mind. Again, the weekly settlement differs from the monthly settlement in the SPX. And these are the types of product specifications that you as a trader, you got to get intimately familiar with stuff like this and the reason being it only takes one small screw up to cost you a lot of money and if you can spend you know 10 minutes with me from time to time just learning okay a little bit about a few of the products and again the spx is it's one of the most prolific products out there okay it's also known as the widow maker of products but given a couple of little rules regulations over here hopefully Will help guide you through a bit more of your trade. Thanks a lot, everybody, for joining us here at Theo Trade.